return. And that will start at their own 12. And Bouchelle will hand off to Deontay Foreman. And he'll pound his way to the straight. Held by the great Earl Campbell back in 1977. And it's Foreman again. So you saw Bouchelle give him a quick glance on third and two. It's Foreman following it. Well, you, you would think that would add up to more victories. But it has. Here's Bouchelle. Good pocket to pass out of. Able to throw and complete. Uh, Matthew, four, he, these wide receivers need to help their quarterback. They dropped three touchdowns last week. And off this Foreman going through. Second down and four. A Baylor defense that is undersized. And that might be a good one upcoming. Texas trying to put something together here. Approaching midfield. And off to Foreman. First down yardage and then some. Mismatch in Texas' favor. Foreman so far, six carries for 35 yards. Now the quick strike down the sideline. Caught. Touchdown on Matthew Foreman. Bonnie Foreman, the twin brother of Deontay Foreman, working a one-two punch here pretty good. This is the same look that Amani Foreman dropped, and their offense was not able to get a single point. They've got to convert. On first down. Block here by Andrew Beck, and a block down here with both offensive linemen. Shackelford takes a takes on the the defensive lineman. You get to the second level, and Orion Stewart. Orion Stewart's got to be a better player for Baylor defensively if they're going to be able to stop this rush attack. I tell you what, the more I watch Freeman, the more impressed I am. Just a complete player. Houston, number 11, in at the corner position opposite Ryan Reed. Redshirt freshman. Tyron swoops in there now. Keep it posted. Bouchelle again hands off the swoops. He has first down yardage. The corn's been injured, so they don't have him as an option. They need to spell Deontay Foreman. Bouchelle's going to throw here. We thought he was. Now he's going to be wrapped up from behind. Deep downfield. You see, right back here, double coverage on the outside. That's where he wanted to go with the football. Great adjustment by Phil Bennett. Oh, you're right. That's that's a good use of the timeout there. Hand off the swoops. Knocked backwards by Greg Roberts. Best interior lineman in the country. Here's Bouchelle throwing. And definitely some miscommunication between himself. See? Well, listen, he's, he is an outstanding defensive coach. I mean, Edward was the defensive Outside. coordinator. By number 92 of the defense. The five-yard penalty. And it's still first down. And, But maybe it's not. I mean, maybe it is about the one loss record. And Charlie Strong in his third season at Texas. Quick quarterback, I understand that, but. Here's Michelle trying to get out of trouble. And eventually is dropped. Now he comes back up to the line, sees that Phil Bennett came out of that blitz and runs the football. Pitch to Foreman. Deontay Foreman. Something for him. Impressive. And he wants to go quick and hand it to Foreman again. Right up the middle. That looks very similar to the Foreman touchdown run. Found is that this running game in between the tackles. If they get through the first line, there's no safety left. Quick screen out to Devin Duvernay. That's great. The three to one, you say. Somebody look up Greasy's career numbers for me, please. I'm sure it's not three to one. <laughs> <laughs> it's four to one, I'm sure. <laughs> On second and eight, loss on the play. As Charlie Strong told us no matter who's coaching this team next year, they're going to be a 10-win team, Texas will be. On third down and seven, from their own 31, Bouchelle, was there a hole? Certainly looked that way. And the receiver didn't come back for the ball, the defender did it, Ryan Reed. was a hold, there's no question. There's a hold right here. When he tried to escape, holds on to, to uh, defensive end, and this ball thrown late on the edge. Great play by Ryan Reed, but even if it was incomplete, it would have been a change on down. Good stop by Baylor defensively. Eight. They turned it over five times. Hand off. Kyle Porter checking in. And four to the ball, Baylor. Long Kyle Porter. It's Edwards again. Six, seven in the box. Then Texas is going to put a tight end in the game. And the chess match is fascinating when it comes to the coaches and coordinators whether he throws 
or runs the football. Hand off. Foreman back in there and carrying the ball right. Seen more power than talking left tackle. <laughs> Here's Foreman. The ball carries across midfield. Second down and four. It's Foreman again. He did go over 100. Where your quarterback has got to make the plays for you to spend drives. Michel will hand off. Foreman stuck in effort into the secondary and nearly broke free. In the open field, you have got to get him on the ground. Here's Michel to throw. Gets out of some trouble. Hands off, hands off. And he'll throw it away to avoid some more. Cash course right here, Baylor. West Virginia already going down earlier today. And that's not going to go anywhere for Bush. Foreman, the lone setback. Bouchelle feels the pressure up the middle and down the sideline, but out of bounds. Working, that almost paid off on the back, on the back side. So Bouchelle has missed his last four, and this time he's going to kick it. A little pooch punt. Oh, it bounces into the end zone. ESPN. Back just in time. Quick feed. Down the middle of the field is a beauty to Armani Foreman. And it's loose at the end. Maybe we can we, maybe we can freeze it when we get the knee down right now. That's out. Okay. Well, the ball. Sorry, here's the ball. Here, it's already yeah. been out. I think that yeah, that one right there. Took a couple frames right. Their ball is out, and the knee was not down. I, after did that. further review, the runner fumbled the ball before he was down. It was recovered by the defense at the two-yard line. First down. Freeze here. Okay. Handoff. Tyrone swoops. The quarterback is the running back. You didn't trust yourself. My Twitter account blew up. Thanks for all the help. Fumble. Ball is out. Knocked out. And there is a flag down as well. Doing my best to for Texas. Go back to that fumble. There's no pass there. That was a handoff. Xavier Jones gets his hand in there, and then it's a scrum on the bottom of the pile. Looks, and that is a fumble. They need to go back and look at this, but it's not snapped the play. Wow. Jump ball brought down by Colin Johnson. Trying to stay in bounds. Colin Johnson. Mistakes because you snapped the ball so fast before they can replay it. That was clearly a fumble, Steve, and should have been a, a ball of Baylor. First catch for him, gain of 40. This is Jake Oliver on the far side. And we're starting to see one in their favor. These things tend to even out, Chris. Such is life. Rochelle will throw to Oliver. Down the sideline. Oliver bumped out. The only opportunity left for the college football playoff for the Big 12, and their defense was the question. Here's Foreman. Cuts to the outside. He came in needing 145 yards to go over 1,000 for the season. Here's Bouchel in trouble. Oh, able to throw it away. That's intentional grounding. The passer was still in the pocket and didn't throw it toward a receiver. It's a loss of down, second down. Now, sometimes the young quarterbacks, you can actually see them think. What's in a colleague like to say? I couldn't even find my car keys when I was 18. <laughs> and here's Bouchel trying to be the starting quarterback. And doing just that in a big way for Texas. Oh. World on him. His coach's job hanging in the balance. But as much as Charlie Strong wants these players to block that out, that's just not realistic. That's six. He's going to take a knee. And, and but Texas. Taylor has one 300-pounder up front. And that's Ira Lewis. He's exactly 300 pounds. He said that Texas told he had a CT scan on his neck. Results negative. He's undergoing an MRI right now. And again, we'll keep you posted. Here's Foreman trying to run away from people, and he is brought down from behind, and the football comes out after Foreman exploded. Ryan Stewart has got to be a key in the run game in the second half for Baylor defensively. He has consistently been out of place. He got a spot for the first time in, in place of Patrick Bahe and a true freshman center. And big runs, big chunk runs for Foreman. Here's Andrew Beck. The tight end. A lot about him, but in his first year, this offensive coordinator mixing things up. 
Give it right back to Foreman. He's down to the 10. And this time, he gets the snap and hands off to Foreman. Again, it swoops. This is the 18-wheeler package. We saw him featured as a running back mostly in the first half. Off that neck injury, but good to see he's back healthy. Broke the C6 vertebrae. But he was two millimeters from the defense. 185 rushing yards today, over 1,000 for the season. Whoops. I mean, if that was a fake, that was really a fake. Duchelle turned is, is going to have a chance to win the game. Terrence Williams had seven carries for 68 yards and a touchdown on that last drive alone. Handoff. Foreman, nothing doing there. So just a little pinch. He's going to come inside, and he beats the block, affects the tight end. Nice on the card. No. <laughs> I'll check on that. You'd be interested, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Bouchelle, little pump fake, and held up. You can see him thinking as the game goes on. First read not there. Now he, he knows he wants to get rid of the ball, but you can almost see him. Bouchelle, 11 big league seasons. Now the Texas Rangers coaching staff. That's picked off. There are some tackles, some big tackles. Comes up with a huge play for the Baylor Bear defense. Try to get it to Warwick there and throw a little bit behind Warwick, the wide receiver. We'll see if this ball touches the ground. He's got that right arm underneath it. They're going to take a look. The ruling on the field of an interception is under further review. After further review, the pass was incomplete. It's fourth down. He's done a great job of taking away the football defensively today. Here's Foreman to the outside. goes down. Take a look at the speed. He draws 18. Comes right around him. 250. The freshman quarterback helping out. Tyrone Swoops is in the game with Bouchel. They fake it to him, and Bouchel throws. With five on the play clock, they do get it off. Bouchel with some pressure. Throws it out and completes the He's beaten out by a true freshman quarterback, but he's there for his team. He's there for his team right now. The ball carrier swoops his bounce backwards. With an example of how valuable Deontay Foreman is to this offense. Without him, there is no threat to run the football. Michelle off the play fake. He's throwing. What is Phil Bennett going to dial up? Michelle the pitch to Foreman. A little stutter step. Michelle's all by himself in the backfield. Here comes the pressure up the middle. Able to get it away and complete. Finds Lorenzo Joe right down the middle of the field. And Joe will be caught from behind at about the 12. Talk about the chess match right here. Shane Bouchel. He has to see this pressure coming, and he has to identify it quickly and get rid of the football. It's great identification. You saw Avion Edwards, number 20, was unblocked. You get it to Joe, break a tackle, and a big game for the Longhorns. Take a risk. You know, Phil Bennett, you know that he's going to do this to a young quarterback, and how do they play when the game's on the line? Avion Hall now checks in for Watts on first down and 10. as well in a one score game Foreman will slam it up there in the middle again he's so physical but he's shown me today he's got great feet and speed that's underestimated third and four Michelle passing to Andrew Beck got there like this guy right here but this is the guy here Greg Roberts playing on the outside that Ends up in man-to-man -man coverage on Beck. And that's a mismatch every time. He's in no man's land. It's an easy touchdown. Ryan Reed is on for me. Snap the swoops. Trying to crash in there. Waiting for the signal, the indication. Nothing yet. To Edwards. See him right here. Both he and... Getting, here comes Blanchard back in. I think that's a great call. I don't think it's too many. From their 20, Deontay Foreman. Looking for a Texas.
taking a lot of time here to snap the football. The show doesn't even look as he hands it off to Foreman. Stadium. The air 12. Two and a half to play. Here's Bouchelle. He'll take a shot down the sideline. It was a 50 50 ball that Amani Foreman has. 50. For a first down. A substitution in Boston. Well on the field on the defense. That penalty is declined. First down. Hand off to Foreman. And now, if you're Baylor. They do. Here's Swoops running to his right. 